Okay, there's something that, that they take you to a nice venue where you can all go on and enjoy a nice steak, steak yep. meal. Yeah, we're going to exercise our right. That's all right. Go and exercise your right to dine out. Yep. Cool one. Okay. Yeah. Nice one. Please put your hands together for Phil. Hi, guys. Um, thanks for having me up here. Uh, I've come up here before and I've spoken to you all about what I feel about free our freedoms here. Thank you, sir. Um, and what I feel about what happened to me and about the police. I've come today to say I was wrong. I was wrong with what I said because these men and women here, they are part of the problem. Yeah. Now, yesterday I went to court. Yesterday I read what you guys, not you personally, but what Sergeant Tuisano and Constable Jones said about that day that was just lies, blatant lies. We can see on the video, if you guys have seen the video, you know it. You should be arresting them. If you've seen that video and you have not arrested Sergeant Tuisano and Constable Jones for their attack on me, you are supporting that. You are behind it. You are complicit in the assault on me. That's all of you. Don't be complicit. Arrest them. Arrest them. Arrest them. Uphold the law. Now, last night, your guys came and broke up a nice shower on a trailer that was legally parked. There was no reason for you to do that. If you're supporting that sort of terrorism, you are breaking the law. You're here to uphold it. Don't be the people that you're meant to be protecting us from. You guys are good people. If you're good people, do what's right. And that's why I'm here today, people. I'm here to speak to them. I'm here to speak to the politicians. Because let me tell you politicians there sitting in Parliament, you are the people who are breaking the law against your own people. The Kiwis here that are just trying to protest peacefully, you're sending violent coppers in. And those coppers who aren't violent, who protect those violent coppers, you are at fault. And so guys, I'm not asking for violence or anything, absolutely not. But I'm asking you to ask the police individually when you see them, uphold the law. Hey, they've got no integrity, they're sick with each other. Yes, well, no integrity. There is the chance you can walk over to us, we will accept you when your friends come who were sacked because of these mandates, when they calm down, what will you say to them? What will you say to them? You supported them being sacked? Come on! Go on Be Dave. good people! We know you're good people. Be good people. Walk across the line. Drop that rubbish. You can't go protecting the people who assault the citizens of New Zealand. Be you complicit in that assault. Thank you, Phil. Well, I get the truth, eh? That's the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And you know, wherever you are standing or whatever you might be wearing, at the end of the day, we're talking about we can't move together as a nation until we can learn to have respect for one another or we can step outside of whatever hat we're wearing and actually show some common decency and respect to our fellow human beings. So I um, just want to honour you, Phil, and uh, thank you for this. You continue to be strong. You could have run a long time ago, but you're still here, and you're still standing. So uh, why don't you put your hands together for Phil? I know he's not going anywhere. He hasn't had much sleep for the last few days, uh, but he's always here holding the line with everyone else. So Frankie, are you here, Frankie?